Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to change the password for your Entrouted Netrato server. Being a server owner has its own tasks that require you to be attentive to them. One of these very things is having a password set to protect your server from anyone who might want to do some griefing to your server. Today we're going over how to do that as it is a relatively simple process, but if you're unfamiliar, here you go. How to set up a password. The first thing that you wanna do is of course, stop your server in the main server panel area and double down on the pop-up that appears. After just a few moments, you're going to see that the server is fully stopped by seeing up in the top left corner, server stopped. It's from here that you're going to head over to the left-hand side of the panel and scroll down just a bit where you see the settings tab and you're going to hit the general button. And after just a few moments, a new page will pop up. As you can see, there aren't too many server settings to change here, at least yet, but soon enough there will be, I'm sure. I digress. What you're going to take note of is the password area. And as you can see in this example here, there are a number of different numbers and letters, capitalized and lowercase, but you'll notice there are no special characters. So you'll want to use some version of a password that is easily memorable, but has enough variation that it's not easily guessable. That could be something like example pass, but with a bunch of different letters and numbers and things like that varied from how you want to do it for you and your friends to remember. Of course, once you're satisfied, you're going to go ahead and hit the green save changes button in the bottom right hand corner, and you're going to wait for the settings to have successfully been saved. Once you see that they are, you're gonna head back to your dashboard by clicking the button on the left-hand side and starting the server up with the green start server button. Once again, once the pop-up appears, you're going to double down on the green start button and wait just a few moments for your server to get back online so that you can join. In the meantime, you can open up your game and look up the server name as the server finally turns on and see that the password is required to enter. And now you've protected your server. Conclusion. Hopefully you found this quick guide helpful gamers, as I'm sure you'll be using it a lot. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh. Huh.